Hip replacement surgery, regardless of whether it's anterior or posterior approach, really involves replacing the arthritic ball and socket joint. What we do is get down to the hip and then we essentially cut off the arthritic ball joint and we replace that with titanium metal that goes down into the femur or the thigh bone. On the socket side, we clear out the arthritis and replace that with a titanium socket with a surface that allows the bone to grow into it. The difference between an anterior and a posterior approach is really just whether you get to the hip from the front or the back. The predominant difference from a patient perspective is that when you get to the hip through the back, you have to cut through one of the larger muscles, the gluteus maximus, to get to the hip. Whereas when you come through the front, it's an internervous and intermuscular interval, which means you don't have to actually cut through muscle, you go between muscle to get down to the hip joint. One of the advantages of anterior approach to the hip is that the recovery for patients is a little bit faster. The scientific studies would suggest that, especially during those first six weeks, it's a little bit easier on patients. There's a little bit less trauma to the muscles and soft tissues around the hip. That said, after about six weeks, those recovery trajectories converge, and after a year, patients are doing pretty much the same. But I think for a lot of the active patients here in Central Oregon, those six weeks can make a big difference in terms of how they feel after surgery. Their arthritic pain and soreness that they have in the groin is gone almost immediately, and instead it's replaced with a sort of muscle soreness, muscle ache, almost like a heavy workout. Many patients are excited to hear that within six weeks they can start to ease back into hiking, skiing, pickleball, biking, and they're really excited thinking that in many cases it would be longer than that before they can do the things that they love.